Hey everybody, I am Reba Renee Seven, and I would like to welcome you to my channel. I will be reading the word from 1 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, 25th through the 27th verse, and it will be the King James Version. That there should be no schism in the body, but that the members should have the same care one for another. And whether one member suffer, all the members suffer with it. Or one member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. Now ye are the body of Christ and members in particular. We are all a part of the body of Christ and we have our place and function in the body of Christ. And schism is division. We shouldn't have division. We're all one body. Welcome, 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 y'all, welcome. And before we get into what I would like to share with y'all today, if you haven't already, I would like to invite you to subscribe, like, share, comment, and Let's get into this video. Y'all, what I have on today, y'all going to be like, does this woman have everything in her collection on her body today? Let me share with you. I have on, I would say, to start off everything. I have on. Bodycology Cozy Fireside S'more. Y'all know I have not been using a lot of my fragrances because I was sick, like a lot of other people who were sick. And I wasn't ready to smell a whole lot of gourmand heavy hitters. So now I'm trying to welcome them and invite them back into my wardrobe, uh, laying it on my wardrobe, my skin. So Yes, this is one of them. This is Fox. I didn't put anything on my hands, y'all. I just washed them. So they may look a little desert dry. <laughs> um, yes, this is by Body Ecology, which I purchased from Wall to the Mart. Yes, and it smells good. It's sort of like, uh, what is that? Marshmallow Fireside or something like that from Bo Bath and Body Works. They have a, uh, a fragrance similar to this. And yes, you see the dent. Do you see the dent? Yes. And it is a limited edition. I don't know how often this comes back. I started inviting this uh, collection to my uh, uh, brand to my um, fragrance collection. So we will see how that go. I not only use this, but I used... Bath and Body Works, Hot Cocoa and Cream. And I'm going to try to post the notes, y'all, so that y'all can see them. Let me scoot over a little bit so y'all can see. <laughs> I can post it up here. But if they have it available, but yes, this is what I added to this to bring out that chocolate fragrance in here because it has smoky marshmallow, sandalwood, and chocolate in here, supposedly. And I just put these two together. I not only put these two together, I added, I'll say what I put on my skin. And this is Pink's Comforting Body Milk Vanilla Bean Extract Coconut Oil. Vanilla. This is new, y'all. I don't know how many people have this in their collection, but this is something that came out that I just found out about if it is not new from pink victoria's secret and i like it i put it on my skin it was not greasy it was not uh slippery like it went on smooth and let me share with you what it looked like y'all hear that This is what it looks like. I'll put some more up there. It is.
and it melted like soaked absorbed into my skin it did not give me a real greasy feel it was lovely on my skin y'all yes and if you can see it will dry absorb or whatever you want to call it into my skin and i'm enjoying this yes my, my i touched my legs i was like what yo like i was a newborn baby yes so i would tell you to go check it out try it i don't know if i'm gonna buy it because of the um how you say because of the formula how it's made it is it, at first when i put it on i will say it was a little messy because i decorated my floor and my uh carpet uh my uh area rug that was by my sink i decorated it yes and um i want it on my body not on the floor or my um runner you know so it is supposed to be in the scent of vanilla and i thought it was lovely it was nothing out of the way feel free to look on victoria's secret and you will find out more about it this is vanelli i think i'm pronouncing it right if i'm wrong i do apologize um i should have checked it again before i started recording but yeah i'm doing good to be recording y'all this is a vanilla fragrance and it smells really good y'all can check this out online and this is lovely another vanilla so i i was layering y'all layers of vanilla then i apply vanilla uh bare vanilla lux from victoria's secret and this is rich marshmallow vanilla cashmere and opulent take on bare vanilla and of course y'all know this has sandalwood in it so i just decided to put this in so they're like woody notes and put it together i want to talk to y'all today about two fragrances that bath and body works has out on on their new line and it they are like aquatic watery um i don't know how to say um I was, yeah, aquatic like fragrances. And it's two of them that I would like to discuss. I went in today, I went to get my free item. And it was Calypso Clementine. The notes um, are fruity and bright. That's what they say this is supposed to be. But the notes are Juicy Clementine, Neroli Nectar, Coastal Woods. What I can smell out of this fragrance, I had sprayed the perfume on my wrist and I could still smell it recently. That it was, and that was a, what do you call that? The thing y'all put on the wall, y'all, wallflower. I can still smell it. This is the perfume that I put on my wrist. And yes, um, would be something I would be looking for at the semi annual sale for 75% off. One of the aquatic fragrances that I would like to speak about is Water Lily Springs. Do kissed lilies, crisp waters and clean musk what i got out of that fragrance was the musk to me that helped to make this fragrance come alive i couldn't really smell too much i mean i could smell something but couldn't pinpoint what i was smelling but when it dry, when it dried down and i got that finale of that fragrance and in the middle like when I sprayed it, I started smelling the musk. That is what, to me, gave this fragrance life and would be the reason why I would purchase it if I would decide to purchase it. The next one is Sea Salt Coast. Salty Air, Water Lotus, and Sandalwood Shores. 
Sea Salt Coast, to me, what brought life to this fragrance was the sandalwood. And if I were to get this fragrance, it would be because of that fragrance that I could smell at the end. I was trying to let it die down and then see what I got out of the fragrance that I'm going to be walking around with. Really that in the beginning, middle, really doesn't matter because that's not what you're going there are times that's not what you're going to have at the end on the dry down or what is going to be performing on your skin or clothing and i feel like a lot of times we go in myself as well and start spraying things and we are getting the initial or the middle of that fragrance like some people say, when you get that fragrance and put it on your body, you might have to go in multiple times or just spray yourself in a certain area if you can. And then when you get home, you know where where you sprayed a few of those um, fragrances and see what that fragrance is giving you before you walk out after you have been in there for a good, I would say, 10 minutes or more. Don't just go by the initial spray cause, because that may not be what you get at the end and you may not like it. I have multiple fragrances here that I want to share with y'all that are like aquatic, oceany fragrances and may be the reason why I may not get these two fragrances. And if I get anything, it may be at the semi-annual sale and uh we will go for me i'm gonna try my best to show you more of the men's side and then the women's and this first one is ocean this is a fragrance we have in our collection between my husband and myself and i want to make sure that we are not getting a whole lot of the same fragrances we could probably blend some of what we have and get maybe some of that from those two uh, new fragrances and not have to purchase them. And yeah, you got to have room for those things. This is Ocean. The notes are Blue Cypress, Vetiver, and Coastal Air. This is a night. My husband enjoys fresh out of the shower fragrances, fresh um how you say it? nothing gourmand he doesn't care for a whole lot of gourmand fragrances but i did have it on a day y'all and he said it smelled okay he didn't complain at all but i know he is not trying to walk around with that so yes the next one is by aromatherapy c and this is so refreshing jasmine and eucalyptus this is a fragrance that we have they do have tips on the back of the bottles sometimes and they will give you information on what to pair it with but i don't think we have that fragrance and if we do maybe i can find it later but here's another one this is sea salt therapy and this is mimosa spearmint this is another bath and body works fragrance and I think this is a neutral fragrance and if you like it it could be for a female or a male and uh it's a, enriched with sea minerals and aloe used as a body spray a shower mist or a freshen up so here's another one that is like aquatic and similar to one of the fragrances that they have out already and that is the sea salt coast yes here's another one this is bamboo surf it's a watery fresh fragrance inspired by boardwalk greenery and salty air beaches this is one one of the neutral scents that they had uh fragrances that they had out was that 2023 i think or was it 2022 but anyway the 20s <laughs> and my husband was able to pick up some of these and yeah a nice beachy like 
fragrance and something you can wear in the warm um warmer weather yes this is fresh water y'all this thing smell good this is by bath and body works as well in the men's collection and this is one i would tell you to go check out they have that out now is not on the retired list it is in the store and this the notes are italian bergamot mountain spring water and oak moss a nice fresh fragrance a lot of people are trying to do low buy to no buy and i'm one of those people and i like i said we have a nice collection now my husband between my husband and myself and really i don't have room to bring anything else in so i'm trying to use up my items and hopefully i will be able to bring some in at another time this is aloe and palm another fragrance that is sort of like on the fresh um natural um way of wearing fragrances something that is not hopefully loud but it says a fresh bright fragrance inspired by refreshing by a refreshing afternoon under the palms so a nice fragrance you could wear when it starts to get warmer um you could wear it now if you want to but fragrances that you know are like aquatic or beachy here is a fragrance that i had purchased um in the form of a moisturizing body wash and this is at the beach by bath and body works this is a fragrance that i don't remember i'm not sure if it was it was a good minute ago um maybe it was a in the form of a body mist in the minis or travel size but it was so long ago i don't remember y'all so i would have to go and check this out the fragrance in the form of the body mist again to see if it's something that i want but i wanted to try it in the form of a body wash and this is it the notes are white frangipani blossom toasted coconut sea salt breeze and a nice uh i'll say body wash fragrance that i hope to try and hope that it worked for me i can hardly smell it right now y'all so i can't tell you what it smell like i would assume it is a fresh fragrance it's sort of faint to me right now um this one is midnight blue citrus the notes are juicy citrus fresh spring water sweet mango here is a fragrance that i purchased during the semi-annual sale if i'm not mistaken or it was during the time when they had a discount um sale on their body mists and uh it is a beautiful packaging look at the color this is my final fragrance that i would like to share with you and this is endless sea by bath and body works this fragrance right here and look at the atomizer y'all mm -hmm. blue yes this is the one that they discontinued they have i think wild sands which is this one and i was going to share this one with you but it is more like I, I would think a fall fragrance but i think you could wear um these notes here are prickly pear fruit cactus flower warm agave nectar this is more of a pear like um fragrance and i don't I, and by say wild sands you would think by the water but to me it seemed like it would be more of a fall fragrance and you can wear it really anytime you want to but this one is more of like i would say anytime as well um this is like uh the notes are fresh bergamot salt water lily and ocean driftwood so this has like a combination of both of those fragrances um that they have out this new like the sandalwood this is driftwood then they have the dew kissed lily from 
um, Water Lily Springs. This one is Salt Water Lily. So, so it has like both of similar notes in here. So from each of them. So I'm just glad that I have these in my collection. And if I decide not to get those uh, aquatic fragrances that I can use these. And you see that? Yes, that is so cute. Cute packaging. This, this is what I have in that collection, y'all. So, yeah. I have a mini travel size. I have the moisturizing body wash and this. And I don't know, I might have something else in there in the back, y'all. But this is my collection on aquatic fragrances. And I feel like if I don't get the two fragrances that they have out, because I'm trying to do a no-buy to a low-buy um, Water Lily Springs and Sea Salt Coast may not be added to my collection. And uh, y'all might want to check out some of y'all items too if y'all not looking for to buy a lot and see what you have and see if you can find something similar or close to it. If you decide that it is not on your favorite list, because I have some fragrances now that is like, uh, why did you buy that? Because, you know, you just become overwhelmed with a whole lot of some of the same similar fragrance notes and you need to back up off because it will become to where you are going to probably be on here doing a uh yeah cleaning house because you have too many items with similar fragrances and you just done had enough you're over it and wasting money so I will check y'all out on another video. Bye.